Day two began with a grateful sigh that we hadn't been blown off the mountain during the night. One last uphill push brought us to the high point of the entire trail. Lamberson Spur sits at 7,350 feet. Now I know what you're thinking. Since the lodge itself sits at 6,000 feet, you only gain 1,350 feet. You might need a quick lesson on net versus total elevation gains before you get too excited about those numbers. Don't forget that this trail delights in taking you up and down multiple ridges in between those measured places. This part of the trail is barren yet beautiful. Even after a dry summer, there was still good water available at small glacial streams. The quiet we enjoyed from cairn to cairn was broken by one of the most amazing sounds you will ever hear. Glaciers calving high on the mountain rumbled like gentle thunder. That's a sound worth working for. Eventually, trees began to appear again, and we paused at the cloud cap campground to fill our water and build our resolve for the next river crossing that is known to be the most challenging on the entire loop. Like many of the rivers we've crossed, the Elliott too gets its name from its mother. The Elliott Glacier high above in the mountain melts to feed this stormy flow. While it might appear narrow, the force of this water can easily take a backpacker downstream. A rather flimsy rope crosses at a point that will take you in waist deep. After watching a few other hikers, we opted to use our poles and cross a few feet downstream, which brought the icy water up to our mid-thighs. A sketchy climb up the opposing bank proved to be equally as treacherous. Pulling oneself up through loose rocks and sand with 40 pounds pulling you back down should definitely be an Olympic sport. My partner won gold and left a little skin behind. Maybe this next clip will help you feel the power this creek possesses. East Basin were among some of the most beautiful of the entire trip. One last crossing at Lad Creek brought us to camp at Cairn Basin, where we nursed our bruises and our nerves. Sleep was a delight that night, as raindrops tap softly on our trusty rainfly above. What will day three hold? Stay tuned! <laughs>